Yo, what's up guys? This is Mozen Lens. So today, I'm going to show you guys how you can make your very own cool looking YouTube banner for your um channel, YouTube channel if it's a, even if it's gaming, tutorial or even to um speed art or anything under the sun. So now guys, first what you're going to do is just click the like button for me if you guys enjoy this video and also subscribe on my channel if you're new and also leave some comment um leave some suggestion on the comment down below so i know what i'm going to do on the next video so guys help me from your suggestion so now guys what you're going to do first is just download the app in the link in the description down below called ps touch or adobe photoshop touch and also the template of the youtube banner that we are going to do so first what you're going to do is just um, if you already installed it, just open it and click the plus button and make the canvas into 2560 over 1440. So just click the OK button from it and this will be pop up in your screen and all. And the next step is just import the template that you guys downloaded. So this will be pop up in your screen and just make it trans and, and just make it bigger like the canvas guys. So just put it right like that and click the check mark button and now what you're going to do is just take a screenshot of your youtube channel using a desktop or even a phone or if you want guys if you don't have a pc just google it like youtube banner screenshot from desktop and just download a photo of it so i'm just going to um import the photo of my youtube channel and i screenshot it from my um laptop so just like this and now what you're going to do is just make it bigger and just rotate it. Just like that, it's up to you on what um, style you guys want and just click the um, check mark button and just put it down the layer of it like that. So now guys what you're going to do is just um, make sure that you selected the um, layer of the screenshot that you put just go in here brightness and contrast and just make the um, brightness into negative 40 percent and just click the check mark button and now what you're going to do on this um, empty layer just go in here and sign fill and stroke and just go and something like uh, pick a random color that you guys want I like red click the check mark button go into blend mode just put it into multiply and just go into opacity and just put it into 90% so now guys what you're going to do is just make a new layer and just go into a fill and stroke and just make it black like that click the check mark button go into overlay um, make the blend mode into overlay and just go and put the opacity into something like 50% and now guys what you're going to do is just make a new layer again and just make it into a black color just like that go into end sign fade and pick it um, the second one in here from the left side and just make it like this it's up to you guys I will just make this quick for this tutorial so just make it like that guys click the check mark button just duplicate it go into transform click this one and just put it on the other side and click the check mark button and now what you're going to do is just merge it down and then make a new layer and then make sure that you're on a marquee tool like this one the box one and just make a box like this just a little bit just like that guys and now what you're going to do is just make it red the color that you guys picked just like that guys and now what you're going to do is just duplicate that go into transform and just rotate it into 90 degrees and then put it right about here if you guys want if you you can use this one so it's easy to move the things on photoshop touch click the check mark button and just merge it down make sure to go into eraser just um copy the settings here just make the size 200 and also the hardness into zero 
just um, erase this one and in here and then now what you're going to do is just duplicate that going to transform just put it in here just like that guys and now what you're going to do is just um, click the check mark button and also merge it down again and then go and duplicate it and then now what you're going to do is just put it on the other side like this and just get this one the other layer put it on the other side make sure that you click this one and then the upside down then put it right about here just make it balanced guys so now guys what you're going to do is just um simply just um repeat the the step that we made in here just make a new layer fill and stroke and also make it black and then go to fade and just make it in just put it in here just like that click the check mark button duplicate it again click this one and also the upside down and just put it um under in here just like that click the check mark button and then just merge it down just put the opacity into 50% guys and now what you're going to do is just empty layer again and then go to end sign fill and stroke and now what you're going to do is just make it the red color the po color that you picked and then go to fade let's put something like a lighting on it so it will look nice just make it like that guys and click the check mark button and now guys what you're going to do is just make a text so the second app guys is pixel app the link is in the description down below and then now what we're going to do is just make the text so now what you're going to do is just click the pencil in here click the pencil again just make it like i will put my twitter so at something like mozen len click the ok and just go in here on the a and just um and just pick a font so the font that we are going to use is kenyan coffee that and i will leave in the the link in the description down below click the ok button and then now what you're going to do is just go to spacing and just make it right about 10% just click the check mark button again guys so now what you're going to do if you guys want put the size into something like 80 percent just go in here and make it transparent go in here on the three dots export image make sure the format is png click the save to gallery and repeat the step and just change the text it's up to you i will just put subscribe now so now guys what you're going to do is just go back on PS Touch and click the project that we are making and now what you're going to do is just if you have a logo just put it into the center like what I'm going to do right now just like that and make it like that and just click the check mark button or if you don't have a logo guys just use a text of um, like your name your YouTube name so after you put you already put your logo guys now what you're going to do is just um click um, make the template invisible the red lighting the logo just like that and just click in here click this one and just merge visible because we're going to um go on the limit of the layer just make it visible again and now what you're going to do is just um import the text that we made so this is the text that we made a while ago in pixel lab and just make sure to make it a little bit little like that and just put it on the center of the banner you can use this one as i said to make it easier to move the text just click the check mark button and just again put the others um put the other text that we made make sure that there has the same size of the other text just like that guys so now what you're going to do is just merge the two text that we made just like that guys and now what you're going to do is just put it in here and then now what you're going to do is click this one click the um, um, empty layer 
go into ensign fill and stroke and now the color should be white and then we will make a lighting again guys just make it um, smaller like that just click the check mark button just go into overlay and um, put the over um, blend mode into overlay and put that into 50% and now guys the last step is just make a nice looking effect for it so now what you're going to do is just go in here um, in here guys and now what you're going to do is just make a empty layer go into paint um i go into paint tool and just make the color into white make the brush full size and also the hardness into zero percent just make a dot just go and make a dot like that it's up to you it's just randomly guys just like that now what you're going to do is just go and put the blend mode into overlay again and now put the um, opacity into 50%. So that's it guys. So sorry if it's so long because I don't know how, how I'm going to make it like fast. If it's so fast, you're not going to understand it. So I apologize. So now um, just go and save it just like that. And import it into PNG or JPEG so thank you guys for watching and if you guys like this video just go and click that like button for me and also subscribe on my channel so that's it and I will see you in the next video goodbye